Hi, welcome to the VAC Group. My name's Peter Howard. Today we're going to discover how a vacuum excavation works, or non-destructive digging. We've got a 3,000 litre unit here today, and we've set up an operation where we're going to dig from over 30 metres away. The first thing, of course, we do before we start is what we call a pre-start check. It's really very, very important that we ensure that all our equipment is ready to rock and roll. As you'll see, one of our operators is conducting that pre-start check first. He's going over the equipment, he's checking the tyres, but he also does some things that are very important, like checking the pressure to maintain our 2000 PSI, which is one of our important components to this particular vehicle. Okay, we're just about to set up for our job, and as I mentioned before, it's a 30 metre run. So what we've got to do is we've got to get our Tiger Flex back hose and join it to our, our connections. Now one of the secrets that we have in this organisation is we join it on the outside. So our four inch hose actually doesn't get any smaller as we go along the trail. One thing you will notice is that our trucks don't have a boom. There's a good reason for that. Booms weigh about a tonne. Without that boom, we can use that extra weight for capacity. That's saving you money. You'll notice that one of the operators has a remote control. That affects the revs or is able to control the revs even from this distance. It controls the idling, water on and off, and the quantity of water that's required to complete the job correctly. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the product in the back of our tank. Now the next step of our operation is the soil reclaiming process. We call it soil transfer. It's a great invention and new to the market. What it does is dewater the product in the back of the tank. So we have soil and we have water, and now we're going to separate those two units into what we call a reusable product. 